I want to tell you about two extremely unusual artists. One from Edmonton, Ontario, Canada, is actually using cremated ashes to paint the portraits of the dearly beloved who have passed away. He only needs a tablespoon of ashes and takes 200 hours to create these fantastic portraits. The cost, about $5,000, but those who have purchased the portraits say it is better than just keeping the ashes in an urn, that they have the essence of the individual in a portrait for all time. You know what I think? Sensational idea. Now we have another artist, Cheryl Capituzzi in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, who uses dryer lint to sculpt various models of animals, humans, etc. Not only does she use dryer lint that she herself obtains locally, but people from around the country are sending her the lint. And she then fashions it into various sculptures. Actually, she uses a special paste along with the lint to keep it adhering. Now, I think I can do I was never good in art, even with finger painting. I, I was a C student. I just never had the knack for it. But this is something I think I can handle. Let me just try to mold this here. I don't have any paste. But look at that. Uh, does it that look a lint dinosaur? Do you see that? Do you believe that? That do don't look like no dinosaur. It doesn't? Well, take this. Now, on behalf of Expert Village, may the power of the cosmos be with you until next time. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>